Hola todos, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ms. Malcolm Hughes and I am here to give you a very quick book review. Today I will be reviewing The Mothers by Britt Bennett. And The Mothers is a book that follows a young woman by the name of Nadia Turner. And we follow her trajectory and her journey from young adolescence into womanhood and the challenges she faces therein. Um, Nadia grows up in a small like, beach town. She has, off bat, we know her traumas. Um, she has a mother who is not in the picture. I won't tell you why. She has some a traumatic decision that she has to make early on. And these decisions kind of follow her throughout the book, right? She, so she's raised by a single father. She herself makes a tumultuous decision concerning love and life at an early age. And she has a mother who isn't there and she's grappling with all of that, right? So this is essentially a story that deals with trauma, coming of age and the decisions we make and also the friendships that we find and develop over time and how they shape us, impact us, and how the decisions in those partnerships, whether it be familial, romantic, or platonic, kind of shift and shape and determine who we become, right? So in that, it's a very, very interesting story. What also adds an additional layer is if you've grown up in the church, specifically if you've grown up in a black church, I don't know about every other religion, um, but there is a group of elder women in the church who are known as the church mothers, right? And what's so amazing about this book is it's from the perspective of the mothers. And these are women who we often overlook, right? Obviously these women are elders, they live full lives, but everyone knows when you're growing up, you don't think of adults and elders in that way, right? You think of them as, as always having been the age in which you've encountered them, right? So you don't think of them as young and having lived full lives and probably having experienced some of the same exact things you have, right? So for me, what was so genius about this book is that it's written from their perspective and oftentimes they're like, hey, guess what? We've been there too. We too have loved an ain't shit man and we have knowledge as well. So for me, just that perspective and those voices was like a breath of fresh air. And that is what adds depth and layers to this already multifaceted story. Another thing for me that makes the book worthwhile and worth reading is that the author uses language that flows, right? Even though she has a message and there are lessons that she, Nadia and thus the, Nadia and therefore the reader long, learn along the way it's not shoved down your throat, right? And it's written simply but beautifully. It has a poeticism to it. Um, and that's what I really love about it. So though the story focuses on Nadia, you have the mothers, you get a little bit of their history. You get the story of Nadia's father. You get her mother's story. You get the story of a friend she encounters. You get the story of her partners to a certain extent. And you get the story of these other exterior or external characters but it's important to know how like all of these things shape our main character and I think the author does this beautifully and one thing for me is having grown up I guess somewhat similar to this having been a young female growing up um, and having gone through adolescence so in that sense you don't have to be a, a female but as someone who's gone through it if you are someone who has gone through adolescence, you'll be able to relate to a certain extent. And one thing that stood out is just that oftentimes, at least what I appreciate sometimes about stories and one thing I've always loved about literature is that books are the first place where I realized that we are all more alike than we are different and we're all similar and we all have journeys and we all want the same things. And when I got older and I was able to travel, that was only reinforced, but books were the first place that taught me that, right? That whatever I'm feeling, someone else has felt it. I'm never alone. It's never just me, right? So in this instance, there are tons of quotes. I will not read them all, but one example, and this is a shorter one, is she was young and scared and trying to hide her scared and her prettiness. And we all know that there are different privileges, but being attractive in itself is a privilege. People 
interact with you a certain way you get certain passes you get to hide behind it sometimes because if you are attractive sometimes people don't want to know they perceive what they want to perceive and they run with that right so that is kind of the beauty here is we get to see her go from that place into the woman that she becomes and we get to learn everything that impacted her and made her into that and also all the negative choices she's not perfect she does a lot of shadiness like but it's growing pain this learning yourself it's evolving and i think that that's what makes the story beautiful that we get to see this young girl who's a mess when we encounter her and is trying to navigate her way through the mess um and i think that Britt bennett did a glorious job i believe it's her first book so she did a brilliant job so if you're guessing you know i would recommend reading this book now if I had to give this book a grade, I'm going to give this book a B. Here's why. The book is brilliant, the writing is good. It's a story that grips you and holds you. There's so many lessons. This book was the first book in a while that I picked up and couldn't pick it, put down. I have been looking for a good read, so when I found this one, I was so happy. However, the ending for me was not it. It was not it, and I understood it, I got it. I read it two, maybe three times, the ending, just to really resonate with it, let it seep in, reflect on it, see where the author was going. But for me, it was lackluster and I was disappointed. I wanted so much more. Um, from an artistic standpoint, I felt it because it kind of felt like you didn't want to, you didn't want to force it, right? And you wanted to tie all the strings together. Like I said, this is a story of many people, right? It's focused on one person, but it's the story of many people through this one person. But I didn't love the ending, though I got it. So, do I recommend reading this book? Absolutely. You actually may okay, disagree with me. You may love the ending. So, by no means, let my opinion of the ending dissuade you from reading it. However, that's where I stood. That was my stance. I hope you all enjoyed this book review. If you've read it, please let me know below your thoughts. Did you feel the same? Did you feel differently? If you haven't read it, did this inspire you to read it? And also, what are the books you're reading that you think I should check out? Let me know. All right, guys, that's it for me today. I hope everyone is staying safe and being well. And as always, remember to give time time and to have the best day of your life on purpose. All right, until next time, y'all. Take care. Also, for those of you inquiring, I do still have buttons, my Ms. Malcolm Hughes pins, and the details on how to get those are below.